ladies and gentlemen. This black woman went out to protest. And what happened to her? It became rowdy. It became racist. And both sides turned on her. Now, the ones you see taunting in the picture, these were the pro-Israel protesters. They were the most brutal to her. And the pro-Palestinian protesters, some of them even partook in mocking this woman. So let's get into it. You know, there's a reason why we keep telling our folks to stay out of these protests. Number one, we do not, and I'm talking present day, have a good relationship with either side. We don't. And that is the truth. It doesn't matter if the pro-Israel or pro-Palestinian, when it comes down to us, neither side have a good relationship with us. The only thing they can do is have flashbacks about a more than 50-year-old civil rights march. I mean, if that's the only thing you can come up with, that's pretty damn sorry. So my heart goes out to her. But when we say don't go out there taking a side, maybe some of our people got to be taken to that school of hard knocks. I, my heart goes out to her because I wish this did not happen. But man, some people must learn the hard way. Okay, so just keep in mind, this is the pro-Israel side that did this to this woman. All right, keep that in mind. So let's get into this story. University of Mississippi students taunt black female protester with racist monkey noises and Lizzo chants in shameful clash at Old Miss Demo. So this happened at the University of Mississippi. So she went out there and decided to protest and it just went terribly wrong for her. So they were shouting at her, making monkey noises, calling her Lizzo. And this was when there was a clash going on between the pro-Israel, which you see in the picture, side, and the pro-Palestinian demonstrators. The predominantly white male counter-protesters hurled abuses at this woman during a showdown. And this happened this past Thursday. The female protester was on the pro-Palestinian side of the demonstration when she was accosted by a rowdy pro-Israel group of protesters. Now, there is a Republican representative that came under fire because he pretty much gave cover to these protesters. And that was Mike Collins. And a lot of people have come down on him. He defended these pro-Israel protesters that were making monkey noises and calling her Lizzo. He pretty much gave them a, a high five. And he's being badly dragged for that. You know, when these things occur, just understand nobody's going to have your back if you're out there. If we are out there, the police are going to target you and they'll go all around the white protesters and come straight to the black protest. That's already happened. It's already happened. We don't need to be out there. You know, we are finally coming into ourselves. 
So in other words, ladies and gentlemen, we are learning to put ourselves first and not other people at the end of the day that will never care about us. We can't keep making that fatal mistake over and over and over. They don't put us ahead of their needs and we should never put them ahead of ours. Period. Doesn't matter what side. So, you know, she did the best she could to kind of fight back. You know, she gave them the finger and she stepped out from behind the barrier to film what they were doing to her. So they continued to scream at her and it just got loud. At one point, the security guard inserted herself between her and them and ordered her to go back to her side. The camera, um, you know, shows these folks jumping around like monkeys making noises. Well, at least they know who they are. <laughs> okay. So, mm, mm, mm. you know, I, 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 I'm at, I'm, I, I just can't understand what her purpose was to be out there because we know no matter what support we offer, it's never going to be appreciated, y'all. It's never going to be appreciated. We already know this. That's why many of us are saying, nah, we, we're good. We're not going out there. We're okay. So you can see she's by herself. There's nobody from the Palestinian side coming to her aid, and that's who she's she out there supporting. That's why I'm saying neither side is worth crap as far as I'm concerned. So it's never worth it to put yourself out there in harm's way. And I really feel that's what she did. And, I mean, it, it, I tell you what, it's an experience that she will never, ever forget being out there the best thing for her to do wherever she lives it would have been in her best interest to stay home and not get involved in any of this stuff but unfortunately you know no matter how much we try to tell people to stay out of this whole thing we're always going to have those that will just be defiant and want to be out there for one reason or another and at one point, y'all, they were even screaming at her, lock her up, lock her up. And well, y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.